Hello, my name is host Eric and I'm here to say if you got an E, then you probably an INFP. If you are confused about what you are, you could be an ENFP with poorly developed FI, as you indicate. But my experience is the most confused type about what they are are INFPs, and that part of the reason is they don't want to be INFPs. They want they'd rather be INFJs and or ENFPs. INFPs get a bit of a bad rap. They're considered fussy and temperamental and not logical and stuff like that. There's a lot of stereotypes about INFPs that are more or less unfair. Some of them are, are a little bit more fair than others, but um, it's a failure to understand them for what they are rather than, you know, it's, it's, it's judging them according to an unfair criterion. Anyway, uh, my take on it usually is that, that if somebody's confused, and I think that INFP is one of the possibilities, they're almost certainly an INFP. However, having said that, let's explore the possibility you indicate, which is if FI is weak and you're an ENFP, maybe any heavy, less FI, followed by TE, Hmm. Well, you don't you don't seem very TE to me at all. Now, the thing is, just as I, in order to interact with you and everybody else and be successful in some sense or another, I have to place my attention on the extra feeling parts of things. So too, as every person has to do that with their third function. If you were an ENFP, that would mean that your success would be predicated on your executing of protocols and or, and or coming to terms with the sequential step nature of TE. I don't feel as though you are TE third slot. I feel as though you're more likely to be TE fourth slot because... I've never heard you talk like a TE person at all. And that would make more sense for somebody to TE in the fourth slot. I think it's, it's potentially likely, potential that you're even INFJ. That's possible, but I think you're INFP. That makes the most sense to me. There's also this person in Detroit, she doesn't think she's INFP, she thinks she's INFJ. That's what made me want to make that video. You seem more, if you were going to be anything other than INFP, I would almost be tempted to say weirdly developed ENTP. Because you, your, your weirdness and my weirdness I understand your weirdness. I don't normally understand INFP weirdness quite so well because it's well. I mean, they don't engage in a lot of it, uh, a, a weirdness for its own sake, whereas ENTPs do. I think that's the bottom line. That you know, whimsical Kit Kat's poem was creative, like any person, and it wasn't, at the same time, it wasn't intentionally unnecessarily weird, <laughs> which ENTP stuff has a tendency to be, uh, until you get the hang of it and sort of figure out the right balance. So, I mean, that, that's one other possibility. With you, it's, it's challenging because you've, you've mentioned various complicating factors from your past or something that it, um, suggests that maybe you would manifest differently than a lot of people. But regardless, something about your weirdness that says ENTP to me, something about your, your fashion sense and your display, visual display, that suggests ENTP to me as well. Even though, it, other than that, 
I have no reason to believe you're an ENTP. So I, I mean, I think you're much more likely to be a oddly developed INFP than an, than a totally oddly developed ENTP. Those are my thoughts. F I T I T E loop. Well, F. What did you say? N E T E loop. What would that be? N E T E loops. I mean, I think it would have to be generative, right? You'd have to be generating protocols. It couldn't be executing them. You'd have to be doing something creative with it. It's it's why it's not a, they're not compatible functions. It's why I call ENFPs unbalanced. And ENTPs are balanced, but being balanced doesn't necessarily mean you're you're more balanced in your life. It just means your functions are the right ones for each other. You know, that NE goes much better with TEI than it does with TE, and uh, FE than with FI. So and that's the natural ordering of things. Is the the extroverted intuition and extroverted feeling go together? with the introverted thinking and introverted sensing, and then vice versa. But there are lots of unbalanced types, some of which display as either more orderly or more chaotic or more skewed in this one area or that one area. That's my thinking about it. Oh, I keep forgetting. There's much more text down here, but I have to scroll down to see it. Okay, now I'm reading LC. Sorry for the delay here. And the specific state of mind to be in. Not sure LC Eric is in the right mind to answer properly. Oh, I can shift state states states of mind, no problem. Okay, I'll repeat this stuff. Um, how off can someone develop in a way of? I generally generate protocols for my family, like giant. A4 sheets with instructions on how to do things and when, mainly planning family and animal management. Well, yeah, I mean, that would make sense for TE, TE in the third slot then. Um, and your display of fashion stuff does seem to suggest extroversion. The, uh, I mean, so then you're talking about, if you're talking, if you, if you are talking NE and TE, then you're for sure talking ENFP, but here's the thing. I can I'm very good at that stuff too. At those tables. It's just uh I have to be externally disciplined to do it. Basically. Either by a boss or by uh by just reality or something. Yeah, sure, Nimto. You want to get typed? With the, can you have a, a mic or a camera? Or both? You know, I mean, you have to at least mic, but if you have both, it would be nice. If not, it's okay. I don't care, except I woke up one morning and the thought occurred to me that if I never understood myself, the need I could not understand what other people see and dive into a wormhole. Hi, Hi hello. Hello, Nimito. Yes, it's me. Uh, okay, great. So let's start a video. The typing of the mini.